party. I'm so sorry, I'm running a little late today. My apologies, I hope you're doing well. Just had a meeting that uh, just ran into a little bit of the time here. Welcome, welcome to our Monday HIIT class. I hope you're doing well and um, we're gonna get going. So we have 45 minutes, uh, we've got, um, let me see, we've got um, three blocks of exercises, each has four moves and we're going for 45 seconds each. And it's a combination of band and of uh, weights. And we're also finishing off each block with one minute of cardio. So let's shake it out, just relax, take it easy. Give me a march and breathe. Deep breath in and out. In and out. One more nice breath in and out. We're going to start off with our jumping jacks, nice and easy. And let's go. So 30 seconds on the clock here for our uh, first warm up move. Now, if you don't want to jump, you can always tap it side to side. If you don't want to take your arms overhead, you can always take in shoulder height. Just try to relax through the shoulders. Don't let them creep up your ears, navel to spine. And land softly in your balls of your feet. In three, in two, and in one. Come into a standing. Feet are about a hip width apart. You're squatting down and up, squeezing at the top. So squeeze the shoulder blades together to get that upper body moving too. Make sure that your knees are behind your toes and your toes are lifting like at your lowest point. So you don't want to drive those knees forward. That's it. Down and up. In three, two, and one. Give me a tap forward with bicep curls. And take that tap like a little bit to the side. So you're kind of taking it over to the other toe. And give me a bicep and then extend to a tricep. Beautiful. That's it. That's it. In five, four, in three, two, and one. Now tap side to side as you bring your elbows in. So your elbows are about shoulder width. You're opening and closing, and you got your shoulders are down. After that, we're going to reach to the side and tap and then twist to finish off our warm up. That's it. Tap it side to side. In three, in two, and one. So tap back, down and squeeze, reach and reach to the corners, right to your usual obliques, and up. That's it, navel to spine. Now let's change and tap to the side and twist your hips with you. And rotate to your obliques. In five, four, three, two, and one. Give me a shake, give me a shoulder roll, and a couple of deep breaths in. And out, beautiful, in and out. Excellent, so first order of business for our first block, we're gonna be using the uh, band. If you don't have a band, don't worry. You can use your um, body weight for all of these moves. You don't need a band. You can use your body weight. So for the first exercise, we are going to get really low into a squat, and then we're going to tap it side to side. Then we're going to drop it down for the second move. We're going to balance, and we're going to do nice hip circles. All right. We're going to do one side like so. Okay, and then we're going to do the other side. That's our second one. And then for our last move, we're going to um, go into that plie squat side to side. So we're going to open, squat, center, open, squat, center, and back. All right, so let's get started. Having our um, band right above your knee, not on top of your bony structure of knee, get low in two and one navel to spine your chest is open and you're tapping from side to side hands can be in prayer wherever your hands are comfortable here you can engage your shoulders your pecs while you're going to be squeezing your palms together 
Staying low, coming back into that squat, staying down. Tapping it side to side, squeezing, and trying to maintain that low isometric, killing the legs squat. All right, go lower if you can. You can see your toes. Remember, you're squatting, you're pushing your hips back. Give me 10 more seconds. And quick transition between the moves, right? You get a longer break after a cardio. In three, in two, and in one. Drop it down. Balance it. And then do our leg circle. So you're going to take it forward and back. If you can, hover the floor. So it's like you are drawing that semicircle with your big toe. Ooh. See, you gotta make sure you balance because somebody's not moving. Um, and then try not to tap the floor. If you need to tap, go ahead and tap, but challenge yourself. So here, make sure you're navel to spine, make sure you're nice and square, and your standing leg is soft. Oh, tap. There you go. <laughs> I know it's a challenge to balance. Almost there, five, in three, and in one. Quick switch, shake, shake, shake. Balance on the other side, and let's go. So nice and slow. You're drawing that nice big semicircle on the ground with your big toe, because you're pointing your foot. Navel to spine, open through the hips, there you go. Nice and controlled, right? Don't rush. Almost there. Last move, remember, is our kind of sumo squat or plie, side to side with the band above our knees. That's it. Balance. You got this. In five, in three. Give me one more. And one. Bring it up. Shake, shake, shake. You got five seconds. In four, two, and one center, you're gonna go plie, drop the hips, back center. Make sure the toes are going to the 45, right? You're working the inner thighs, you're opening up, you're dropping your hips, right? You're not leaning forward or back. Trying to be nice and square and you making sure your knees are not collapsing in, right? You don't want any collapse in your knees. Down, squeeze up, down, squeeze up again to the corners, right? Plie. You got this. Come on. Push. Take your time. Make sure your foot placement is correct. You're not rushing through these. One more. Beautiful. Shake it out. Quick recovery. You got one minute. We're going to do um, half of 30 seconds of jumping jacks and then 30 seconds of jump squats. Low impact, this is your jumping jacks. And instead of jumping for the squats, you can go up on your toes or just squat it down and up uh, quickly. Ready, set, let's go. Jumping jacks. If you are jumping, make sure you're landing softly again. Just do a quick check, full body check. Make sure you're good. If anything hurts, if you have uh, your joints don't like the jump, if there's some uh, anywhere you're feeling a huge discomfort, then take it to low impact. Or march it out. As long as you're getting that heart rate up, I'm good with that. In three, two, and one. Ready, jump squats. So if you're jumping, you're landing nice and soft. Remember, you're kind of going on your toes. And you're, um, you're rolling through your foot, let's say. And the heels are the last thing that comes on the mat, on the ground. You're sitting it back because you're squatting. You're not driving those knees forward. That's it. Come on, push. Chest open, shoulders down. Five, four, three, two, and one. Oh, march it out. Deep breath in. Those legs are talking to you now. <laughs> All right. Grab a drink of water. Your heart rates are high, so please march it out. Beautiful. Okay, while you recover, I'm gonna exp uh, explain the next uh, four moves. 
All right, next one, curl and press. So you're gonna curl, turn, press up, curl, turn, press up. Uh, next one, it's gonna be bend, tricep, forward, press. Tricep, forward, press, okay? Next one, it's gonna be front arm raise, open, close and down. You can always alternate one arm at a time. That's your third one. And the fourth one, we're gonna be uh, going down and up with a lunge. So for 20, uh, 20 seconds or so, we're gonna do a lunge down and uh, rotate the cuffs, and then you can switch the other leg, all right? You're good? Shoulders down, shoulder blades together. Next power posture in three, two, one. So palms up and press down. Make sure again, your wrists are not invited to this party. All comes into through the biceps and shoulders. Now when you do the shoulder press, make sure that you have your weights slightly in front of you. So you can see them. Push elbows are back as you're going to do your as you do your uh, biceps, you're not swinging your arms, nice and controlled. That's it. Excellent exertion. Your pelvic tilt, protect your lower back. Nice and strong. Got about five seconds. Then we'll do our uh, tricep kickback and push forward. There we go. Down and up, push. So get down into that squat. Really push your arms back, hinging at your elbow, get that triceps, and then push forward like so. Back, and make sure you squeeze, right? Feel in the back of the legs, feel in the glutes as well, and you're squatting, right? You're not bending through that lower back, you're squatting. That's it, you got this. Come on, 15 more seconds. Then we go to our front arm raise, and uh, like a uh, pack or bench press, that's it, in three, two and one so from here you're going to up open in and down as your arms are getting fatigued you feel tired remember you can do this one arm at a time slide back in the elbow looks like that all right make sure when you do two arms you're not rolling through your lower back right remember that power posture feet about hip width apart nice soft knees low pelvic tilt Navel to navel to spine, shoulders are down, right? Don't want to creep up. I know you get tired. You don't want to creep up. Don't let them creep up. There you go. Five more seconds. Then we do our lunge. Stationary lunge. We rotate the cuffs. Give me one more. One side. And when I call it, you go to the other side. So pick a leg. Set yourself up. Ready? Down. So whether you want to open on the way down or up, I don't care. Just open and close. There we go. Now the knee goes as low as you can to the floor. The front knee does not pass the toes. You got this. That's it. In five, four, three, two, one. Quick switch, switch. I'm just gonna change the form. So I'm gonna have my palms up and having the ends of the weights come together. Elbows are really tucked in. Working through the rotator cuffs. You can all do this also one arm at a time. That's it. You got this. You're almost done with this. Block, three, two, and one. Beautiful, bring it in, shake it out. One minute cardio. So, first one, we're gonna have a high knees or knees up for 30 seconds and then jump rope. These are the low options. These are high, high, and low options for the knee or higher and high. Make sure when you do the high, engage that transverse abdominis, really squeeze that TA to help bring your knees up. All right, ready? We're starting off with the knees up. 30 seconds on the clock, let's go. 
So again, you have an option of doing low or high. Land softly. And your chest to the sky. You got this, come on, push, push. Don't put the heel down, you don't have enough time. That's it. You can alternate between high and low if you want. Remember, you always got options in my class. In five, four, three, two, one. Jump rope. Now, jump rope, you can do alternate or like a jog, feet together or low. Choose your form. That's it. And you can even jump higher if you want. Let's double up. Breathe. Five, four, three, two, and one. Beautiful. Shake it out. Deep breath in and out. And take a drink of water. For our final block of exercise, we're going to get down onto the floor. But uh, I do have a bonus at the end. So we're gonna have like a, the last block, which I mentioned, <laughs> it's gonna all be focused on abs, all right? So march it out. When you're ready, you're gonna get to take it down to the floor, all right? So, and I'm gonna explain what we're gonna do. So we're gonna be doing, um, and we're gonna have the band right above our knee. And we're going to start off with donkey kick. So we're really going to keep the two moves on the one side for 45 seconds each without a break. And then we're going to do fire hydrant. So donkey kick, you know, like so. And then open and close. Making sure when you're doing the fire hydrant, don't twist. Don't move your whole body to the side. And also when you're on fours, your arms right on your shoulders. Don't dump weight into your wrists. You can uh, grab weight or even go on your fist if it's too much. Your knees under your hips, about a hip width apart, and you're not rounding your back. You're nice and square. Ready? Take a leg, set, go. So up and in. So you're bringing it back to the, the knee on the ground, right? So you're kicking it up, back in, kick up, back in, flex your foot. So you're pushing the ceiling up. Nothing else moves. And the same leg, when the time comes, we're gonna open and close the fire hydrant. That's it. Squeeze. Like, feel like you have 100 pounds on your ankles, right? That's it. And then you're gonna do the two moves that are gonna be on the other side. That's it. Three. Two, now stay here and open and close. Again, don't tilt to the side. That's opening, open the leg, five hydrants and close. I know, so for this minute and a half, you're not taking a break and then give you a quick transition to the other side. Look forward, don't drop your head below your heart. You're almost there, come on. And breathe. For our cardio, we're going to have uh, fun with uh, our um, mountain climber and then flipping over to our uh, bicycle. In five, four, three, two, and one. Oh, beautiful. Just come up, do a quick rotation of the, the wrist to give yourself a bit of a break. Quick, quick shake, quick, quick stretch, just to kind of get that uh, wrist moving. In case you felt it, let's go. Other leg. Again, nice. Use your core here, really, right? Core is what stabilizes you, holds you nice and square. Shoulders away from the ears, looking forward, kinking it up. Again, pushing up that ceiling. The band is adding that added resistance. Pushing right up and you know keeping you in check you know using momentum you're not throwing your leg up right at the top that you're doing a nice smooth movement nice and control all the way come on you're almost there three two 
three, two, one. Five hydrants. There you go. 45 seconds. Come on. Push. Push. So as I mentioned, the, the next uh, block, um, we actually have some, uh, have a good time here, some time left. So we can do actually a full block and then do some more abs even at the end. Come on, open and close. You're really building your left glutes. You got this, come on. I know, I feel it too, you know. Come on, stay with me, I'm with you. Five, four, three, two, and one. Beautiful, shake it out quickly. Now, if you want to take the band out, so we are going to do mountain climbers for 30 seconds. We're going to quickly flip over and go into our um, bicycle. Remember when you're doing the bicycle, not too much rock and rolling uh, in your core, nice and controlled. And remember, you're working through the obliques, kind of leading with the shoulder. You're not pulling your elbow in, but trying to get your elbow to your knee. All right? Now, different options uh, for mountain climber. You can go on your knees. Let's go. Or you can tap, or you can run it, or you can tap like so. You can be on your elbows. So whatever works for you, make sure arms are right under your shoulder. You're looking forward. Navel to spine. Come on, push, 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 almost there. 30 seconds. You're almost there. Five, four, three, two, one. Quick flip over. Don't take too much of a long break. Nice and control. Let's go. So you're doing a little quicker with your bicycle, but still nice and control. Twist, twist, twist. Breathe. You got this. 30 seconds, you're working the core at the same time. So it's that core cardio. That's it. You've got this. That's it. Three, two, and one. Drop it down, beautiful. Let me just scoot down a bit. That's it. Bring your knees into your chest, side to side. So we get that extra, uh, um, I already, I had three blocks, but because we can repeat them, we get the extra block here focusing on our pecs. So get, uh, safely uh, grab your waist, maybe before you do that actually. Put your, um, uh, here, your band right under, I mean, all, uh, uh, right below the knee. Okay, and we're gonna push up in the bridge. So with the first one, 45 seconds, we're gonna have our heels, the closer to our heels, we, uh, to our glutes, and we're gonna push up into a, um, a bridge. But for the first 45 seconds, you're gonna have one leg out, stationary, isometric hold, as you do flies, right? And then the second round, we're gonna do the other side, but we're gonna do bench press, all right? Your bench press, like so. And then, we're gonna flip on our stomach, and we're gonna do uh, 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 flutter kicks, work through the bit of your, um, strengthen your lower back. And then, opposite arm, opposite leg, reach and lift. All right, so let's just slowly push up into that nice high bridge, right? Ready, arms up above your chest, not your head, take that leg out. So 45 seconds tends to be a bit of a long time, so make sure you do a few checks here. You're not leaning to the side, and then you can actually lift your toes. So remember, you're not putting pressure onto your toes, you're onto your heel here on that standing leg. Make sure your hips are square, the other leg is, is like, um, uh, lifted into that uh, about uh, less than 45 degrees but then you have tension on the band right your band is out of it you have tension in the band right squeeze exhale at the top inhale exhale hover the floor bring it in hover bring it in and switch quick switch down and up so arms um, then you have a rod in your hands, so you're not bringing your weights together. Again, make sure you have, I didn't have 
I just did a quick check. I did that resistance to the band to push your leg out of it. And then nice and long point through your toes. Make sure you can wiggle the, the standing foot there, the toes, because you're not putting weight or pressure on the toes, you're on your heel. You're really feeling your glute and your hamstring. Press up. That's it. Come on. I know it's a long time again, but a minute and a half that you're in the bridge, right? You got five, four, three, two, and one. Beautiful. Now slowly roll it down and flip it over. You don't have to. If you want to make it harder, you can always push the band around your ankles. All right? So for this one, um, you can put the weights away and make a diamond shape. Rest your forehead. Ready? Lift and um, out, out. Press out, pulse. Now, the thing here is if you can, uh, try to get your quads off the mat, right? Navel to spine, shoulders away from the ears. Relax your head. Halfway point, we're going to do flutter kicks. So out, 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 out. Now let's do flutter kicks. So you still have that tension on the band. You're pushing it out. And now you're having your legs up and down, up and down, paddling, fluttering. At this point, as you get start getting tired, your shoulders start wanting to creep up to your ears. Please keep them back. That's it. Come on. Five, four, three, navel to spine, two, and one, and down. Quick reset. Upper body, uh, head down. T take the arms out. So opposite arm, opposite leg. It reaches and lifts. Ready? Reach and lift. Back down. And reach and lift. Down. <sighs> Exhale. Pause at the top. Bring it down nice and slow because you're moving too much. And just at your own pace, alternate. Right? Nice and strong. <sighs> alternate, alternate. There you go. Reach and lift. That's it. Reach and lift. You got this. Reach and lift. And and keep going. Three, two, and one. All right. Cardio. All right. For cardio, we're going to keep the band where it is. For 30 seconds, we're going to do that swimmer. So arms out, legs, you know, flutter. So we're going to kind of be hovering like this, Superman, and we're going to do flutter arms and legs for 30 seconds. Then we're going to switch, and then we're just going to do bring the upper body up and do flutter kicks for the next 30 seconds, okay? In three, and two, and one. Hover, flutter, so you're like swimming, right? So you're... Um, uh, arms, legs, flutter, flutter, flutter. Come on, I know. Reach and lift, reach and lift. Your heart rate should be going up. It's part of like the core cardio here. Come on. You got this, you got this. That's it, 10 seconds. And we're gonna switch. Five, four, three, two, and one. A quick switch over, or flip over. All right, ready? You can have your arms. Right on the hips, arms up, flutter kicks, flex your point. I mean, flex your foot. Take the legs out so you can, again, have tension in that band. No tension in your shoulders, no tension in your neck. If it's easier, drop the upper body. If it's easier, maybe just bring it up here and kind of do like this here or in and out. So whatever, just keep moving. You got this, come on, five, four, three, Two and one. Bring those knees into your chest, side to side. Beautifully done. Very impressive. Okay, so we've got, I've got some uh, bonus ab workout for you here. We've got our um, uh, five, so I've got uh, 45 seconds for each of these uh, exercises. Okay, so you've got uh, I had four, but let's see if we can have a bonus fifth one because we're going to take a quick break in between them. 
So about a, another five minutes of uh, work uh, through your abs, and then we're going to stretch it out. Okay, the first 45 minutes, we're gonna have, um, let me just put these away, sorry. So we're gonna have the right leg, you're gonna flex and hover the floor. This one, nice and light, right? You don't wanna jam um, the foot, but you want the core to work, right? You're gonna cradle the head, and you're gonna bring that straight arm up, and back down, straight up, up and down. And the whole time, you're gonna come back to hover, so you're not going all the way down, all right? So you're gonna do one 45 seconds on this side, 45 seconds on the other side, and then we're gonna come into a crunch for 45 seconds, and then we're gonna continue it to a double crunch, all right, for 45 seconds, right? And then for the last 45, you're gonna do side reaches to work the sides, all right? Ready, working through the rectus abdominis and the glutes. So, pick a side, arm out. If this is too much, you can also bend, right? Ready, set, let's go. 45 seconds on the clock and down. You can point the toes, you can flex, whatever works for you. Do a nice twist. You're working too much. Make sure that other knee does not roll to the side. And use your core, rectus abdominis to really engage and stay connected and nice and long and clean moves here no rock and rolling come on almost there i'm with you and nice and controlled don't rush you need to slow it down slow it down you don't have to go my pace in three and two give me one more for good luck and quick quick reset shake Set yourself up, other side. So again, technique is very important, right? So I'm gonna hit the my door, so my arm is gonna come in and bend, and then straighten up, right? There you go. Again, navel to spine, twist, nice big twist. But you know your range of motion, as long as you challenge yourself. So I want you to just challenge yourself but I don't want any shooting pains. I don't want you to hurt yourself. I want you to look and feel your technique so that you're doing it right and you're doing it safely. Hover on the way up. I mean, on the, yeah, on the way up and on the way back, you're still hovering. And that's it, come on, push. You got about five seconds, four, three, two, and one. Quick reset. 45 seconds on the clock when we do our crunches. Give you a break with your legs down again. Uh, nice neutral spine, cradle, elbows back. Let's go. So you're doing 45 minutes of a crunch. Again, the move comes from that rectus abdominis. Pausing at the top, coming as far as you can. And when you bring your knees up into that tabletop, reach your elbows, I mean, sorry, reach your knees right on top of your hips. Uh, you wanna make sure your lower back is nicely tucked on the mat. Right? That's it, you got this. Three, two, one, bring it up. Now, double crunch and double. So lift, but try to take out the momentum, right? So you don't want to add too much swing in here. You want to use that transfer abdominis and pausing. And there's no rush. You got this. Come on, I know. You feel this everywhere, right? That's it. All over your core. We're fatigued from all the work we did already. I know. So take breaks if you need to, but join me when you're ready. Almost there. Come on. That's it. You got this. Five, four, three, two. Give me one more. And one beautiful shake, shake, shake. Quick touch, side bends, and we're done for the day, okay? 45 seconds on the clock. Tuck the chin in, come up. Don't jam the chin in your chest. And then side to side, try to touch your um, heel. So you're working your sides here. This is like a side bend if you're standing, right? If this is too much, you can always take, like cradle the head with one of the arms and then kind of pointing the elbow to the side, right? Pausing here, pausing here, right? Good job. Stay up, breathe, pause. And 
and pause and pause i know we should feel this big time there you go that's it five in three in two and last one oh beautiful take it down bring your knees into your chest well done side to side nice deep breaths and then let's get long so those long long legs full body stretch from the tip of your toes to the tip of your fingers so get nice and long right try to reach long feel this nice stretch in the left left this abdominis if you have lower back issues bend one leg and deep breath in and out again in and out oh beautiful just let it all go with your left leg straight or bent bring the right leg up grab the back of your calf or hamstring here press and flex and uh, point with the knee up stretch the back of the leg right here right keeping the leg straight as you can without locking the knees breathe get oxygen to those muscles making sure you feel uncomfortably comfortable you want to increase your flexibility but at least keep maintaining your flexibility bend on top of the other leg reach through and circle the legs in one way gently pressing the side of your leg right so that you keep that glute engaged and uh, really stretch it out well beautiful now cross the leg on top of the other one arms go key position you're dropping your knee to the left as you look to the right now keeping your shoulders again on the mat you kind of nicely um, stretching through your side feeling the stretch right up again if you really need to bring the ground closer to you you know use a, a rolled up towel or, or a yoga block or just uh, maybe your opposite hand just can guide your leg down and hold on a bit and gently come back up uncross feet together into a seal and stretch into the inner thighs so if you are in, uh, in the office on uh, Wednesday, I'm, I'm teaching in person, low cardio and abs um, in beach. Sign up, come join me. It's actually 11.45 to 12.30. And close that other side and press it up. Get a nice stretch at the back of the leg and press, uh, flex and point. Be nice to have you. That's it. Wonderful. Place that uh, leg over top of the other one into that figure four. Circle the ankle in, the, in one direction and focus on your left glute. Those donkey kicks and uh, fire hydrants are great for your glutes. Keep breathing, get oxygen to muscles, they work hard, they're nice and warm. So you want to get a nice, nice challenging stretch in to again increase your flexibility. Now arms go key position, dropping the knees to the right as you look to the left. And if you do have to uh, leave early, please make sure you maybe do a bit of warm up and then do some good stretching later. Stretching also uh, reduces injuries, right? So you want to make sure after workout that you do a proper warm up at the beginning and a proper stretch at the end. It's always good to do the strength or the cardio, but you always have to be cognizant of your muscles that you're doing that stretch and warm up at the beginning. So slowly come back up. Uncross one last time, knees into the chest, side to side. Put yourself up in a seated position. Let's round our back. So grab the back of your hamstring and go back into that um, seated position. Astronaut feet or a nice uh, C curve into the uh, lower back. So you're touching the hips up. Shoulders are down. Maybe pushing the shoulder blades apart. And then do the reverse. Hands back, shoulders down, open through the chest. Feel a nice stretch into those. Uh, Beautiful. And then go on your side, grab the back of your, your shoelaces, your foot, give yourself a nice quad stretch. As you push your hips forward, feel the hip flexor, you feel a deeper stretch in your quad. Again, I'm sorry I was a few minutes late. 
and down on the other side. It's nice to be virtual because you can just kind of run to the room, <laughs> quickly set up, and then uh, get going. There we go. Great. So try to keep your shoulder away from your ears here. Beautiful. So coming back on all four, slowly roll up one vertebra at a time, right? So you might want to ensure that your head's the last thing that comes up. And as you come up, you want to roll the shoulders back and forward. And also, happy Mother's Day to all you wonderful mothers out there. I hope you all had a nice, beautiful day yesterday. And arm across the chest, drop the head away from the stretching shoulder. Just to the other side. Feels good. Beautiful. Excellent. Shake it out. Let's take a couple of deep breaths in and then you are done. In and out. In and out. Last one in. Inhale is at the top. Nice and long. Side to side. Beautiful. And have a fantastic rest of your day. And I hope to see you Wednesday. If not next Monday, take care. Bye.